everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here thanks for joining us for our final pride look of the month this month has been super fun to create all these looks with you guys to kind of challenge myself a little bit and step outside of my comfort zone of just my everyday makeup so just wanted to say thank you for the support so far by the time you're watching this we are at 100 subscribers so that is so 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 amazing I feel like I literally just started yesterday doing videos so thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far everyone who shared my videos and helped me gain subscribers it's been amazing and I cannot wait to see where this goes so without further ado let's get started with this week's pride look so this week I'm actually recreating a look that I first saw James Charles recreate, so I'm recreating a recreation. Either way, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put the picture right here on the screen so you guys can see, but I will be creating Lauren Bettle's rainbow kind of like fantasy cloud cut crease look. I am obsessed with this look. I wanted to save this look for last because it is more intricate, a little bit more detailed, and there's glitter involved, which I've ever used but I also am just not ready for the mess so I figured the last video should be the glitter video <laughs> so for this look I am using my James Charles palette for obvious reasons it has literally every color I need so I'm going to be jumping in with that starting out I'm gonna use my m456 brush this is the one that James Charles created with Morphe for his brush set so I'm not sure if you can get it separately um, but it's basically just like a fluffy packer brush to start out I'm going to be starting with the shade Cola, which is this dark blue right here, and just starting on my inner corner and working my way out. With the same brush, I'm going to jump into the shade Daddy, which is this dark green right here on the bottom. I can't tell yet if I'm excited or if I'm scared to use glitter because one, it's just so messy and I have zero patience like I'm really working on it because obviously things like this take a lot of patience but it's a little daunting to use stuff like that because it does take so much like precision to place it so it doesn't look like a mess we're gonna see so stay tuned see how that turns out okay also y'all I made some new TikToks if you're not following me on TikTok I will leave it right here TikTok is just so fun. I don't know why I don't make more, honestly. I think I'm just lazy, quite honestly. It takes a lot to like set up the camera and actually look cute in the video. I'm like, Ugh. And then I'm using a different M456 brush and I'm just gonna use the shade B, which is this yellow here. I cannot believe that I'm at 100 subscribers. That's just like insane to me to think that 100 people even care about what I'm posting <laughs> or want to see my face on their phone or their TV screen. But legit, thank you guys so much. That's like so reassuring to me to know that something that I just thought would be kind of fun to do is actually something that it turned out I really, really enjoy. So thank you guys for that. brush I'm going to use the shade 518 and just blend out the yellow a little bit more. So I don't know where everybody lives or like what the regulations are but has anybody gone back to work yet from this quarantine? Did anybody like never stop working? Like were you considered essential? Like I haven't been working since March with the quarantine and just kind of with everything. Kind of curious to see like what everyone's lives are looking like right now like are you guys like back to normal or are you guys still off like quarantine depending on where you're at like i know some states are getting hit pretty hard with like a second wave okay and then another m456 brush so the james charles brush kit i got this bigger one they come with multiples depending on what you get 
Um, so I'm gonna use the shade You're Kidding and blend that out a little bit with Skip. I'm gonna kind of combine the two. Yeah, life has been a little um, weird, honestly not working, but it's kind of been nice. Obviously I can focus on this, that's great. I don't think I probably would have started my channel otherwise because I literally just did, didn't ever sit down and dedicate the time to it. So that's been really nice to actually like be able to pursue this. Like, have you guys done anything with your quarantines? Like, anything you haven't had a chance to or anything new that you've, like, learned while you've been home? I'm going to go back through and blend these again, but just to kind of layer on what I want. I'm going to use that same brush I used for the red and the pink, and then I'm dipping into the shade Escape, which is the dark purple. I'm just kind of using that to shape out my outer V. I really need to figure out this camera. <laughs> it just dies all the time. But um, we're back. So I've just been sitting here with my makeup half done. So a little behind the scenes moment. <laughs> okay, so I left off doing the purple. So I'm going to go back in with just some transitional shades. So I'm just gonna use like the orange, the yellow all over again, just to blend everything together. And you get the idea. <laughs> So for the dark blue, I'm actually going in with the shade Playground to blend it out, which is this light blue right here. I'm just going to buff that out. And then with the same brush, I'm going into Social Blade, which is the light green, and I'm using that to buff out the shade Daddy. different fluffy brush I'm gonna go into the shade B and in the shade 518 and just kind of blend those two together So the James Charles brush set didn't come with a brush that was fine enough for this, so I'm just going to use this Eco Tools brush that I got from Target, which is like a super fine, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a super fine tip brush. And I'm going to use the Morphe White Concealer, and we're going to do the Cloud Cut Crease. I've never actually used White Concealer before, so this is kind of like a fun and exciting thing for me. So I'm just going to use this makeup remover cloth just to kind of wipe my brush between strokes so that I don't mix all the colors into the concealer and just kind of try to keep it as fresh as possible. because it does I feel like it's inevitable to get some of the color on it um or maybe I'm just dumb and I don't know how to use it <laughs> probably that right um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on though and then go back over it just so it's a more true white shade I'm gonna go with my m124 brush so this is like a small little packer brush 
and then just use the exact same colors and just kind of drag them down to make almost like a kind of like a liner I want it to be closer to the bottom of my eye since my eyes are hooded it'll probably just be that entire part honestly um, but then that way just the cloud is just like a little strip instead of the whole eyelid flashback which is this white and just pack it on top of the cloud just to brighten it a little bit more okay we are doing something okay so going back in with escape and the color playground I'm gonna do my under eye so I'm gonna start with escape and then end with playground I'm actually gonna buff a little bit of single in as well which is the lighter purple I'm bringing it down a little bit farther than I normally would just because of the effect, the dripping effect that it's going to have. Okay, and then I'm going to take my NYX white eyeliner and just line my waterline really quickly. And I'm taking a little bit more of the white concealer on the back of my hands and I'm just going to kind of bring this cloud down around my inner corner. And then doing the white in the waterline kind of ties that together so it looks a little bit more cohesive, I guess. So next I'm going to do the little star detailing around, so just using your picture for reference. One on the outer corner here. So the easiest way that I found to do it is just to do a circle and then do the little star off of it. to breathe a little bit. Don't, don't forget to breathe. Okay, and then I'm just going to put some little dots to look like other stars. Okay, kind of cute. And then I'm just going to put some dots on my inner corner. So I'm going to put a little bit of glitter there, but basically, and I learned this from James Charles, so thanks sister. Um, I'm going to put some dots on my inner corner of the white eyeliner and I'm going to use that basically so if the light doesn't hit the glitter right, it still looks like glitter. Probably one of my favorite looks ever, honestly. So this is an M250-1, and I'm going to go in with the Escape and Cola colors. So these two to make like the dripping effect. Okay, dripping. Looks like I'm crying a rainbow. It's beautiful. It really is. Okay, so for glitter, I have this chunky silver glitter. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. And I also have these rhinestones that are different colors, so I'm probably going to use like the blue and the silver ones. I'm unsure, kind of going to go with the flow. Um, not going to lie, I'm a little scared for this glitter, guys. I don't use glitter, so could be cute, could be a mess. <laughs> we're excited, so we're excited. Okay. Okay, so for the inner corner, I'm going to use the silver rhinestones. I have this cute little tool that I got on Amazon. And I'm going to put some of the Kiss Lash Adhesive in my inner corner to stick the rhinestones to. And this little tool, basically, you just dip it into your rhinestones and it picks it up for you. So be careful, this picks up like 16 at a time. So, come on, you weren't invited. Okay, so I put three in the inner corner. So I'm using this blue glitter. It's like super light blue. I changed my mind from the silver. I think I'm gonna do a dark blue rhinestone on top, just to, like for contrast, I guess. And then maybe just a purple one to kind of even it out. I'm basically just going to place glitter under my eye, so I'm just going to kind of put it all over. And then I just have some, I don't know if you can see that, but there's glitter in this lid. Pick some up. Just kind of scooped it, and then I'm just going to put it right under. I had a more fine glitter for like the bottom part to kind of 
do like the chunky on top and fade into the fine glitter, but I'm happy with this for the first try, honestly. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then put on my mascara really fast. This is just the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye off camera and then we'll be right back to put on lashes. Okay, welcome back. Both eyes are obviously done. I'm serving major Kesha vibes right now. I feel like I'm ready to go to a festival. I'm ready to rage. I'm ready for whatever else includes glitter eye looks. So obviously I'm not that cool because I'm not really sure what else you would do with it. But yeah, um, so anyways, welcome back. It's a glittery mess. So be glad you can't see my point of view because it's a little scary. Um, really hoping my vacuum can handle this after this. So I am going to just move on instead of talking so much. So for lashes, I am gonna use my Lily lashes. These are in the style of goddess. So I'm just gonna pop these on really quick. Okay, so my lashes are on. I am going to use my Live Glam Lippy. This is in the shade Mariposa. These are the Butterfly Collection Lippies that just came this month. And then my Lip Bar Straight Up Lip Liner that I used in my last video. All right, so here is the final look. Sorry, I have not been very good with the giveaway details. So for anybody who's new here, first of all, hello, welcome. But in order to enter the giveaways that I do, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like the video that you're watching, and then also follow me on Instagram. And then once you're done with those three steps, you just comment on this video below and you give me your cash app and let me know that you're done with the steps. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Obviously I can verify that you followed me and that you subscribe to me. So all of the steps um, and then what I'm gonna do is actually announce on my Instagram who won the giveaways and then that way if for whatever reason if I don't post that week or if my post is late or whatever the case you guys know who won so I will make a deadline of every Monday so I'll announce the winners on Tuesdays so the same days that I upload I'll announce a winner so hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for you guys um, so Tuesdays will be giveaway winners and new videos for you guys um, and then hopefully simplifies a little bit so you're not just guessing of if you won or if I just completely forgot about you guys. So congratulations to those who have won already and then um, again this video will have a giveaway so enter to this video's giveaway um, and yeah so that's it. Thank you guys so so much for joining me for Pride Month. I had so much fun creating all of these rainbow looks with you guys. I don't want to just do makeup. I want to, you know, when we can travel again, do travel vlogs and do kind of like daily vlogs when I actually have a life again and can do stuff to show you guys. Um, but yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone's support. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.